Welcome to securing the MCP server with F5 Big IP Next for Kubernetes, or BNK for short. As AI takes on enterprise decision making, MCP becomes a key enabler, governs what tools and data they access. But without strong security, it risks data leak, manipulations, and compliance challenges. Let's see how BNK keeps MCP secure for safe, seamless AI in Kubernetes. Like any powerful interface, MCP introduces serious security challenges. First, there's data leakage. If AI context isn't secure, sensitive info can end up in the wrong hand. Second, prompt injections where malicious prompt or tools can silently steer AI decisions. Third, overly permissive. AI triggering tools it shouldn't is like giving unvetted user system level power. Fourth, we need auditability and traceability, knowing what's influence and AI's output is essential for trust and accountability. And fifth, there's a governance and compliance gaps. Without clear control, AI can bypass enterprise rule. That's why securing MCP isn't optional. It's critical for safe, compliance AI operations. Let's walk through how BNK can secure the MCP from layer four to layer seven. Imagine an MCP client interacting with an MCP server, running in an AI Kubernetes cluster. Securing the MCP server is like fortifying a castle. Defense in depth is essential to prevent a single point of failure from compromising the entire system. MCP server often integrate with large system, both internal and external, which frequently require egress traffic. BNK here acts as a security gateway to the cluster. The first layer of defense includes each firewalling and built-in denial of service protections to block unauthorized sources and reduce the attack surface. DOS attack can also be offloaded to hardware. As traffic enters BNK and forces a second layer, ensuring only authorized client can access exposed dig tools. It can also redact or mask sensitive data like PII, credit card info, or other custom attribute. Additionally, BNK enables trusted egress by assigning unique IP identifier, allowing external system to verify the calling party, critical for audit trails and traceability. And finally, all traffic and events can be streamed to your SIM for complete visibility and compliance. Let's jump to the demo, starting with each firewall and DOS protection. Events go to ELK, showing accepted and dropped traffic. This DOS dashboard shows MCP DDoS trend and attack state inside. Next, MCP2 authorizations in BNK. Privileged and normal users share MCP servers but use different token. Admin gets 9 tools. Normal users get 8 tools. Get pool members is admin only. As admin, we ask AI ops for pool member. Clots runs get pool member and returns the results. Cloud as normal user skips get pool member, tries get pools, and fails. Now, both users see the tools, but only admins can use it. Admins ask AI ops to disable a pool member, and it works. Now, we repeat the action as a normal user. Clouds run disable pool member, but BNK, the smart gateway, blocks the request. Now, see how BNK stops data leaks. In this demo, I'm using a Trojanized MCP server downloaded from an unverified source. Once a malicious vector is injected into the prompt, the server begins extracting sensitive data from the networks. As you can see, this exfiltration occurs before any BNK security enforcement in place. Now, let us run the exact same demo, but this time with BNK MCP security applied. As shown here, BNK detects the sensitive data being extracted. According to the security policy, it masks this data and successfully prevents any sensitive data leakage. F5 BNK MCP security delivers built-in firewalling, DOS protection, access control for tools, data leakage prevention, and dynamic threat defense with iRule, even against zero-day attack. Thank you.